Whoa. There's a beautiful butterfly. Look, here it comes. Look, come here. Come on. Shh. No. Here we Long go. Cover. Ladies and gentlemen, between two posts, we are here for your next episode presented by Coca-Cola mm. with the one and only mm. Teal Bunbury Teal. Welcome. I know you're, you're calm, cool, you're collected, but maybe a little bit nervous. So I'm so nervous right now. There's been so many people that have been on this show. In this seat. Really, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't call this, it a hot it's, seat. It's a, little, it's a little warm. It's a little toasty. Okay. I know you're a little maybe chilly right I'm now. I'm a little I got chilly. The We're in I'm the comfortable. Shade. But man, I'm just, I'm really blessed to be here. Like, this is a, a big honor. This okay. is a, a big honor. Okay, settle down. Okay, okay. All right. So there's a lot of talk online about mm. you being like very mysterious person. What do you oh, have to really? say to that? <laughs> there's talk online about a mysterious. A lot of chatter. Mysterious. I don't know. What's, I don't know what's so mysterious about What's me. that about? Am I maybe just not on social media that much? Could Ooh, that be that it? that could be. Because what's your social media philosophy? I ask people this sometimes. Philosophy? I think if you need it's to a generational with, thing, right? Uh, maybe. Okay. Uh, if you're trying to say like I'm older, like I don't I need to be in that. that. I think, I don't know, I generational, maybe. But I don't know if you want to interact with fans, you know, I think that's, it's great, but there's also a lot of nonsense on there. So you don't think you're mysterious? I, I wouldn't say mysterious, no. I think I'm, you know, I say it how it is. Okay, you know? that's fair. I, you, you don't think, do you think I'm mysterious? Not really. Right? Because I get that's to spend what, time with you, but this exactly. is to show everyone. I'm not that mysterious. The real Here teal. I am. While I peel your onion. The real teal, wow. The real teal. <laughs> easy one. Oh. Legit easy one, not like a fake one. Yeah, right. Here we go. <laughs> Favorite Nashville SC moment so far? Ooh, that's a great question. And, oh, I, and I like to give the qualifier option of it can be personal. Okay. It can be collective. It yeah. can be both. I mean, favorite moment would have just been the first game that I played in, mm -hmm. you know? Hadn't been on a new team in a long time. So up in Seattle, Seattle getting right. into that game. Um, it happened to be on my birthday too, which is kind of cool. I don't really care much about birthdays, but it's just like a little twofer that made me like, oh, a, a good memory. Yes. Um, and then I think really opening. We won that game. We did. Uh, good boy. Great goal. Yeah. Um, and obviously this beautiful stadium. Like I know it's like maybe everybody would say that. But yeah. like, you know, I, coming from places, you know, New England didn't have a soccer specific stadium. And we're not going to speak poorly of that. We're not. I just said they didn't have one. They didn't have this. They, they didn't, didn't have, have the this. castle. Dorkiest habit oh. or darkest secret from your youth? For me, I'm still into this. Magic. So. That's not dorky I would, at all. It, I mean, at the Do you do it? I do it. No, you don't. I, yo, I was on the plane the other day. Ask, uh, ask Sean and Lex. I was doing some They're the two on. most gullible people on the team. No exactly. Wonder. Hey. I got to start somewhere, Smart. Man. Now before, I know you might actually be real. Before I could get my show on the Vegas Strip, I got to start somewhere. Yeah. So that's what's coming Sean next. Sean and Alex is good. But I would do shows for my parents. Like, I how love old, Magic how old, and Studio. How old? How old? Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, I know. Exactly. What mediums were you working with? I, cards? Yo, cards, cups and balls. I even, I had a blazer that I had to have. You know, obviously magicians have... Props and tricks, and, so, and I had stuff in this blazer that I used, and it was my dad's old blazer, so that I was swimming in it. So this is like a hand, like a, a past magician's blazer. I mean, was he a magician? He, no, he was not a magician. Oh, I thought he was like handing it you no, down, like master no, of the skies. Like, it was just he's obviously bigger than I was, so I needed a blazer. I need because you need to store dad, I need a blazer. Exactly. Okay. It was amazing. Well, I didn't think we were going to just land on this jackpot of a, it's a factoid right here. I'm not that mysterious. If you ask me questions. Well, I would argue that you do magic. You're the most mysterious person there Oh, is. you're right. Yeah. Yo. Wait. I knew it. And oh, the people oh, knew hey, it. Edit this. And I'm gone. Whoa. Isn't this crazy? You can't even see me right now. The people knew. And do a little digital rabbit across here. The people knew that you were mysterious, and that's why they were talking about it on the interwebs. I took a class the other day. It was a month-long David Blaine course online. Masterclass? It, w it was studio, same type of thing. You took this a month ago? It, uh, maybe two months ago, and it was a month-long class. So are you just like... Yo, I had the most fun in this, I'm telling you. Kicking a soccer ball? Mm. Sure. Magic? <laughs> So are you just at home, like, <laughs> obliterating your family's minds, like, every day, just yo, like... Yo, my four-and-a-half-year-old is like, <laughs> Daddy, you are unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it works. I'm like, yes, the trick worked. Oh, it's the best, dude. 
No, but I do, you know, I get, if my mom's I in town. I don't know, you don't, I don't Sorry, know. yeah, you don't yeah, know. Tell me. My mom's in town, my okay. in-laws are in town. Do they, like, do they like blow your spot up when you're in the middle of this one? They're like, oh. Uh, yeah, no, we know this, we know this. Watch his left hand. <laughs> Watch his left hand. I think they're nice enough to be like, okay, we'll let him get away with that one. Yeah. Especially if it's on the kids, it's good. I'm just, I'm working my courage up. You'll see. It's getting there. So, <laughs> I just popped in my head. Mm. What are you going to let happen first? Okay. Your children find out. <laughs> that it's all fake. That your magic isn't real. Real. Or that it's not real. Oh, dude. Oh, that's you tough. gotta preserve one. Oh, that's so tough. I mean, I'm going. I'm hoping I can go as long as it can. But there's a certain age with. But that you, also, you don't like, get to choose when this thing happens. I mean, it's yeah, gonna be I'm, I'm never gonna tell them. It's Rebecca, friend. it's gonna be Rebecca in, in class. Daddy with they, the braces. No. <laughs> Why with the braces, dude? Don't tell me. That's just what she wore when she told me. <laughs> yeah. So I don't. I'm gonna try magic for sure. They're, they're never think, gonna know magic. What isn't. do you think they're gonna be most disappointed in? More disappointed. <laughs> we can't, I just realized we can't show this. Why? Because if there are kids watching, I'm gonna be the one telling them that <laughs> it's not real. Oh. It's <laughs> real. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is, dude. What are you talking about? You're how about, crazy. How about just do a blip every time it's Oh, yeah. Just beep. I don't know. You could say whatever. Kids don't watch this. I don't want you're, you're that responsibility, me, okay, you're telling man. me a 12-year-old is watching this? Don't do this to me when you're asking me No, I'm getting serious now. What? A 12-year-old's watching this? And should a 12-year-old know that s is or is not real? Well, in very progressive when did you, steel, when did people you have out? access to the interweb. What? When did you find out s is real? Just now? No, no, no. Uh, I told you, Rebecca. It was like... Oh, this is a coming... Okay. All right. Last one. Here we go. Jack was trying to, for whatever reason, chose to describe himself, to do the exercise of describing himself in two words. Okay. Today. What do you think those two words were? I, I overheard what they were. I'm and trying to remember. It, it was, was honesty, or on, like honest, and on transparency. <laughs> <laughs> transparency? On, but they're like if the same. If that was a Venn diagram, they it'd be pretty close and, to yes. being just a solid circle. Yeah. Jack, man. Transparency and honesty. And what about and him and all his unread change. checks? Well, that's just... That's just... What is this? Like, uh, you guys you need Jack, to find a way on. to get footage of his apartment every day because I swear he, like, watches paint dry on his walls or something. <laughs> or counts birds out the window because... <laughs> he's a bird watcher? <laughs> he's a bird watcher, dude. I would... That's even too cool for what he's probably actually doing. Yeah, like if you had like a little book and like this, and it's like, oh yeah, that was a finch, okay. I have family that are bird watchers. It is a cool thing. To each their own. I, I heard that eventually everyone gets into it a little bit, like it becomes more appealing. Bird watching, you think? I think it, it's gotta be something that's just relaxing. You're just out there, you're, you're supposed it's to be with stressful. Nature. You think? Where you just see one bird and you're like, let me just look at imagine, what this bird could be. All right, so imagine you're taking it seriously though. Yeah, and look, then, look, 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 look at those, what are those? See, if we had the little notebook now, we could see, okay, their flight May. pattern, May. how quickly they're flapping their wings. But imagine it mattered a lot to you and you need to like cross that off your thing and you're like not sure. Kind of like Pokemon, like trying to catch them all. Yeah, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been myself, Dan Lovitz, and Teal Bunbury on Between Two Posts presented by Coca-Cola. Want to thank you, Teal, for Vanna Whiting that for me. Absolutely. Away with you, Fly. Hey, thank you. This was one of my most memorable interviews if you want to call it interview sit down talk that I, I think i've ever had in my career you said meaningful or interesting meaningful oh wow i appreciate that dude it's meaningful i feel like it that's what i was going for yeah so it just means a lot it's meaning a your lot. statement was meaningful to me i just want to <laughs> <know that. laughs> oh god